Good evening, everyone. Uh, as you can see, there's not been much progress. And the main reason was because I was categorizing uh, some boxes. And I actually found a whole bunch of old Atari games. About 19 in total. Like original Atari and Coleco games. So those have all been inventoried. Uh, I also inventoried all my Nintendo games, original Nintendo, and their consoles. So... Um, I have my inventory system in place, and yeah, it's not very high-tech, just works. But that's the reason there was no progress last night. Very little progress. So, tonight, uh, I'm not going to be doing any kind of cataloging. I'm just going to be pushing stuff and pulling stuff and trying to get everything ready for the DAV to pick up and for donations. So, uh, it is 3-8-2016. Um, yesterday, while I was, no, not yesterday, it was the day before, while I was posting, uh, one of my how to play, or, uh, let's play a boy and his blob videos, there was an interesting little thing that happened, and I looked on my main channel, here, let's see if I can show it to you, so, on the main part, oh, sorry, on the main part of the channel over here, there's these related channels that pop up. And somebody that popped up was Boogie 2988, 2688. Boogie 2988. Okay. So I have seen this guy uh, a couple times on other channels. All right. And uh, I saw him in a couple of vines. I saw st stuff and just angry gamer. Just this mad, angry, so so much hate person. And I didn't like it at all. I do not like seeing somebody get so angry about a console and frustrated to the point that they're red in the face and they're throwing and breaking stuff. So I avoided it. Anytime I saw his face pop up or anytime that I saw one of his videos coming out, I avoided it completely. I didn't go and watch it. If I saw somebody else was trying to watch it, I would ignore it. Um, to the point that I started removing them from like my vines. I, I wouldn't look at them on the vine. I wouldn't look at them on Facebook. Anything. Just hate. I know that's such a strong word. I, I did not want to see them at all. Because there was so much anger that I just, I couldn't. I could not bring myself to watch him at all. And then I hit his actual channel. So here, let me go into cognito mode. So this is what I saw. Well, this is what happened. I was trying to get rid What's of up? him. Ladies oh, and gentlemen oh, of YouTube, hush, you not hush. I was trying to get rid of him. I was trying to get him off my related links. I did not want it on there. I couldn't stand that this was being associated with my page. Of course, I wasn't showing my anger to anyone else. Uh, this is just internally to myself and trying to get rid of it. I hit his actual page and his introduction came on and his lisp was gone. I'm like, how did Francis lose the lisp? So I watched it for a second and I realized he's not Francis. That is a character that he plays. And Boogie2988 is actually really cool. <laughs> like, he was going into uh, all of the details and showing, like, this is who, this is his character and everything else. What his channel is actually about is he's talking about gaming. And he's talking about interesting things that's going on in his life. I actually sat down and started watching him and realized he really does have a lot of the same, like, um, techno geek gamer stuff that happened to him growing up as me. He played Nintendo. He got lost in Nintendo. He played Super Nintendo. He plays Nintendo 64. He likes video games. And then he said, I used to play Magic the Gathering. Amazingly enough, I used to play Magic the Gathering uh, when I was in high school, nonetheless. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, you should have done it when you're in middle school. No. Uh, something else that was interesting was he said that he played MUDs. And MUDs are multi-user dungeons. Uh, these are text-based games. Um, you can type go north, pick up staff, wield staff. Uh, I actually still have a character that I've been playing since like 1992. 
and it's on Gateway Mud. I'll post a link if you want to see it. Um, but that that was amazing to me that he had this exact same concept of video games and everything else. And he made a very good point about people uh, raging and getting so mad on the internet. Well, when I first got into the internet, I was about 13. Uh, I got my first computer. Uh, it was on AOL. It was an Acer Aspire tower. And I didn't know anything about computers at all. Uh, and the main reason that my mom got me a computer was because um, I had gotten a C plus on one of my projects. Uh, it was a report. And the reason I got the C plus is because it was handwritten and not typed. So the teacher got an earful from my mom uh, because I'd worked really hard on the report and she ended up going and maxing out a credit card to buy my first computer, um, which I didn't realize that she'd been maxing out credit card at the time, but it really did. It led to my techno brain as it is today. Anyhow, there's a long story behind that. I'll do that another time. Uh, I just wanted to take a point uh, that rage people and trollers who are throwing hate and discontent on the internet, that's not cool. Like, I'm not going to sit here and gripe about it, but if you post a troll in my channel, by all means, you have the right to comment whatever you like, just like I have the right to remove it because I don't want to see it. So don't troll my channel, don't troll comments and stuff like that, but just love everyone. Stop it. You, know, you got people on the internet putting themselves out here and trying to do something awesome with what the internet is now, and you, you're going to go and trash talk them? Not cool. Uh, anyhow, that was that was a point I was trying to make on that. Um, I was working on computer programming today. Got to do a couple of web pages. Uh, I found out I was... I had stopped one project to start working on another project and uh, ends up that I needed to stop the project that I'd started so I could go back to the original project to finish it out. Anyhow, it was basically I was programming in HTML and JavaScript and Cold Fusion all day long. So I had a really good day. Um, and it's been a long time since I've been able to say that. Like, well, this job. Sorry, that was that sounded wrong. Uh, the Marine Corps was hard. It was not the job that I wanted. It was it, I was really good at it, but it's just not there. Uh, being a correctional officer for the county jail, I liked it kinda, but the, at the same time, you had these same kinds of people. He's just raged, mad angry people for no reason like take a deep breath calm down and relax because there's nothing in the world to get that angry about and i understand that if you've been dealt a bad hand and life is is throwing you lemons every single day and you've now massed lemonade all over the place it's another to be angry for no point the world is too small to think that something's that important. So, all right. Uh, I'm going to go start cleaning. And I figured what I'd do is I'd time lapse it and you can see the progress of what I got going. Uh, I'm not going to spend as long as I did last night trying to clean because I got to bed really late and it was really late before I got my post out. So, Tonight, I'm going to time-lapse it, and you can watch the progress, uh, hopefully, here, I will stretch this out a little bit, uh, if I can, can I transform this? Maybe. Oh, that's not transforming at all. Properties. Maybe. I can configure the video. No, I, I can't can't do it in this one. Oh, oh, I know what I can do. Um, okay, I gotta stop the video on this one, and then I'm going to start the video on uh, a different capturing device, which I can then manipulate the fields and
goodness stuff. So, um, uh, yeah, oh, I will talk to you again before it's over. So, love you guys. Wish me luck. Uh, I'm going to start now. There we go. A nice uh, aerial view of what's what's going on. So, ugh. like I said, wish me luck. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to do this a lot m better because you guys are watching me. So, I'm going to have to be on my bestest behavior. I might throw on some music and do some little dances every once in a while, but, uh, yeah, wish me luck. Well, that was quite a little bit of progress. Not bad. Um, basically just moving stuff here and there and moving it around. I think this is going to be good. It's time for me to turn in for the night and get inside so I can get up and go play with computers tomorrow as my job. That's what I do is I work in IT. We'll have lots of electronics to play with, lots of stuff to, lots of projects ahead of me. Um, show you how to do some Wi-Fi stuff. I've got a server that's sitting here not being used. We could utilize that for something. We've got a whole mess load of these little ultra thins. We'll mess with some of those. A small network of some kind. Um, with these, I'm actually going to have to reset the passwords and reinstall operating systems. We'll try some Linux distros, uh, see what we can't get going. One of these little puppies, this is a uh, Media Center by Dell. We'll throw that together and see if we can't make a, like a main box or something, turn it into an arcade system. So, yeah, lots of plans, lots of ideas. Uh, I was also thinking about subbing my network out so we could do like a, a network lab of some kind, pull that all in here. Um, just, yeah, lots of good ideas. Uh, think you get, oh, the other thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to set up lighting because the lighting in here is horrible. So we'll get something going. Uh, thank you guys for watching me clean my garage. <laughs> I don't know how exciting it's going to be or if anybody's even going to watch it. But uh, leave likes and suggestions and ideas down below. Subscribe. Uh, love you guys. <laughs> love you, Internet. Have a good night.